Hey, what's up guys? Tito here with the Law Android and as you guys can see in front of me, I have my LG Vault for Boost Mobile. Now this is activated on Ring Plus and uh, I'm using it as like a burner phone. But besides that, I was able to install Cyanogen Mod 13 on this device. Uh, I posted up the video last night of me installing it and just kind of running down. So I just kind of want to give you guys a little review about the ROM itself. And I haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, so <laughs> bear with me on this one. But anyways, uh, so you guys get the full stock Android experience here. This completely removes LG's uh, UX UI. Uh, that that touch was looking one for Kit Kat, so that's always a plus. And um, this is not the stock launcher that comes with it. I actually installed the Nexus launcher on here, as I prefer that one. Um, so you do get like you know the search right here, and uh, it's currently um, uh, there is a theme applied on it also that gives it this dark theme. That's kind of funny. What's trending right now? Taylor Swift, Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> uh, but anyways. Um, yeah, so you get like the search up here and clock, but uh, some of the things about this ROM, it's actually like nearly, I would consider it stable. It's uh, buttery smooth, I can tell you guys that much right now. Um, and LTE is working, but there is an issue with the LTE as uh, when you connect to Wi-Fi, when you disconnect from Wi-Fi, the LTE hangs. So you have to like go in, um, I'll show you guys what I do, but I basically go into settings. I go to cellular network and then I switch the preferred network type from LTE to 3G and then back and then it pops up. Um, probably one of those things where you might want to disconnect uh, mobile connectivity before turning on Wi-Fi and then it probably won't hang but that's like the only real big issue. Um, besides that, the cameras itself, uh, there's an issue with it. Uh, the front facing camera works just fine. It's um, actually the rear facing camera. It has like this green tint, as you guys can see. It takes a while. It's like it, it's like it's focusing. Um, it takes a while, and eventually it'll bring out the true color. Sometimes the green tint sticks, just depending on the lighting. Uh, so that could be a make or break for some people. Um, but I, I have taken clear photos with the rear camera. It just takes some time. Sometimes you gotta place your finger like above the camera for like a couple of seconds, and then take it off, and then let it just readjust itself and the green tint will go away, so it'll look, it'll look decent. Um, and I'll show you guys that it's actually running a 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So we'll go down here to about device, and you can see it's the LS740 6.0.1 Cyanogen Mod Unofficial. Uh, this is the fifth variant that was created uh, by I believe Bad Mofo is the developer. Um, so yeah, you guys can see some of the information right here. Uh, the SE Linux status is enforcing. Uh, some people said that the LTE works better if you put it in permissive, um, but I haven't really experienced any issues like that, so I'm not too, too worried about it. And we'll just bring up the Marshmallow logo right here. Tap it and you get Marshmallow. Just keep tapping it a couple more times and then long press it and you get that Easter egg game, which I totally suck at. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna waste my time on it. But everything else seems to work very, very well. Audio is a little on the low side, but that's always been an issue with Cyanogen. Um, and uh, when you do connect headphones to this, it doesn't have an icon to show that there's earbuds or headphones connected, but they do work, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, they work just fine. Battery life has been tremendously good compared to what I've gotten before. I know this device has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, but the uh, battery life, seems to be a lot better as you guys can see there was a few times that I had to keep rebooting the phone because I was um, initially trying to uh, uh, get the LTE to stick and everything I've tried didn't work um, so there's a uh, the screen the screen on time right now two hours 46 minutes and 46 seconds I have 497 milliamps let's see if I can get this to kind of like zoom in there we go so I mean like right here it doesn't really show all too well however I've uh, really gotten some really good time uh, with this device so far and uh, so I can really say the battery life is a lot better than what it used to be um, having its uh, you know native launcher on 4.4.2 KitKat 
Uh, everything else seems to work except for the NFC. NFC is not working on this device, so if you're a person that uses like Android Pay or anything like that, this is not going to work for you. Um, and they haven't really fixed it yet, but they are working on it. Um, there's also an issue with uh, the USB cable obviously not being recognized when you connect it to a computer. So for right now, just remove your SD card and uh, just place it into your laptop with the SD card adapter. Uh, one thing that it is working on here for sure is um, adoptable storage. And right now I have it as my uh, portable storage, but we'll go ahead and do this with you guys on here right now. And go to settings and you can format it as internal storage. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it works absolutely fine. Um, no problems at all whatsoever with it being adoptable storage. Now the first version of this did have an issue with it. It actually borked the device. So they were actually telling people not to do it. Um, however, it's it seems to be working now. Not having any issues with it all whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna have my uh, Samsung S SD card in here. Uh, 60 gigabytes so this right here will add an additional amount for the internal storage and um, when apps are there like this is right now to move data over right now click yes to move um, and a lot of apps placed on the uh, SD card fly really good so now that we go back now it is part of the internal storage so total is 18.55 gigabytes on the LG vault so it really opens up to install more games and stuff. So playing Pokemon Go on this shouldn't be an issue at all whatsoever. Uh, the LTE flies actually pretty good. Um, it's not Spark or anything like that. So, but it actually works fairly well. And um, I really don't have any real big issues with this. Just the LTE bug thingy that happens when you turn on Wi-Fi and um, the uh, NFC not working and the USB. Uh, you can charge the device with USB, but um, it doesn't doesn't show at all whatsoever. Now, uh, one thing you should note is that installing this ROM, uh, normally you would use Twerp Recovery 3.0, but that seems to get your phone stuck in a boot loop. So most people have just been using uh, Twerp 2.8.07 uh, or something like that, which is a lollipop one. Now, when you use that recovery to flash this, Anytime you do anything with the recovery afterwards with the adoptable storage, it will not read your internal storage at all uh, as that recovery wasn't meant for Marshmallow. So one thing to note. So link in the description to the ROM. Credit out to Bad Mofo and the developers on Android forums. Um, and anyways, yeah, a pretty awesome ROM. So if you guys enjoyed this quick little review, smash that like button. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comment section. Check in the description for a link to this ROM. And that's it, guys. Have a great night.